welcome back to video lecture part 2 of the lesson the midnight visitor here in this video lecture i will deal with some of the important questions that may come in your board exams i have brought before you for the oral discussion children along with the character sketch of some of the personalities from this lesson so let's begin with the first category that is short answer type questions that may come for two marks but the first question i have mentioned here may also come for long answer type or it may come in different ways let's see how is ozibel different from other secret agents or what great qualities made ozibel a successful secret agent or how was ozibel different from other secret agents how does he deal with max ozibel is different from other secret agents in more ways than one he has a small room in the musty corridor of a gloomy French hotel it was on the 6th and top floor and it was scarcely the setting for a romantic adventure he was extremely fat in spite of living in paris for over 20 years he spoke french and german with difficulty and had an american accent instead of getting messages passed secretly to him by beautiful girls he got only a routine telephone call making an appointment in these ways he was different He dealt with Max by inventing some stories and convincing Max to act on them so that he could get rid of Max permanently. Next question. Describe Follows reaction after entering Ossibel's hotel room. Initially, Ossibel got a shock to see Max in his room, but he remained calm. Max also had a pistol with him, so Ossibel didn't try anything fishy. He just kept himself cool and calm, fooled Max by using his brain to invent stories. Why did Max face turn black with anger? What did he want Ossibel to do? Max face turn black with anger because he felt that his plan of extracting the important documents from Ossibel was in danger of failing due to knocking on the door, which Ossibel identified as the police. He wanted Ossibel to send the police away. Next question: Why did Ossibel frame the story of the balcony? Ossibel framed the story of the balcony to counter the use of the pistol by the rival secret agent Max to threaten him. The rival would have been able to get the important report about the new missiles if Ossibel had not created this story. Next and the important question. who actually had knocked at the door of possible's room why did he come there the waiter in the hotel where possible stayed knocked the door of possible's room he had brought the drinks which possible had ordered when he arrived in the hotel with follow so in the way he was doing his duty of serving customer of his hotel now let's deal with the long answer type questions that may come for 8 marks What information did Ossibel give about the imaginary balcony? Why did he do so? Ossibel created a detailed description of how his room was part a bigger apartment and how the next room had a direct connection with a balcony. His statement that somebody else had also broken into his office through that balcony made it a convincing story. Ossibel did this to fool Max into thinking that A balcony existed just outside the window as he knew that soon the waiter bringing the drinks he had ordered would be knocking at the door which may prompt Max to jump into the imaginary balcony to hide and when the waiter knocked at the door Ossibel again befooled Max by saying that it was police who wanted to come inside to provide him protection Max wanted to run away to avoid the police and jumps to his death into that non existent balcony next question possible was a clever secret agent do you agree with the statement justify your answer with reference from the story children this question may also come for the character sketch so that's why i have not given you the character sketch of possible separately let's go with the answer Ossibel did not look at all like the conventional image of a secret agent. He is the major character of the story around whom the whole story revolves. He was short and very fat. Besides, he spoke French and German 
which lacked fluently as well as the right accent, the American accent was quite noticeable in his speech. However, Ozibel had a very sharp and active mind because he invented two stories. One about a non-existent balcony outside his hotel window and another about the police arriving to give extra security to some important documents he was about to receive. He was an intelligent man and a clever secret agent to be able to invent such stories on the spur of the moment in the face of coming danger in the form of Max, a real secret agent, a rival secret agent. So it proves that Ossible who befooled Max by a false story and made him to jump out of the window only to crash the ground was a clever secret agent. Now let's deal with the character sketch of Max. I have given the points. You can later convert it into the form of paragraph. A slender man, not very tall. His features suggested that he was slightly crafty and cunning like that of a fox. He did not seem very dangerous other than the fact that it was holding a gun. He had come stealthily into Ossible's room and wanted to report on the missiles. But Max was also slightly gullible. He easily fell into the trap set by Ossible. His gullibility probably cost him his life. He was overconfident just because he had a gun pointed at Ossible, faller, at Ossible and Faller. Mass lacked presence of mind. He was so focused on pointing the gun at both the men that he did not look down for a second to see whether there was a balcony below the window or not. He would just blindly believe to Ossible. Max proved that he could be easily fooled. This did not make him a very good secret agent. Therefore, Max was a rival secret agent who was fooled by Ossible and fell to his death. So here I end the lesson children. Hope you got the content. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. All the notes related to this lesson, previous home assignment answers, today's home assignment, I have given you in the PDF file. Thank you.